second and five. Bowman throws. Corner of the end zone. Looking pass. Caught over the shoulder. Clayton, did he hold on? He did. Yes, he did. Touchdown, Mustangs. They're on the board. 6 nothing with 6.43 to go on the first. Moore's the running back to the right of Coffey. They have an H-back set right. And in motion. Mustang showing blitz up the middle. Now back out of it. Now here comes the inside pressure from Hudson. Handoff four. He's stacked up at the seven. He's not going to get it. Defensive line got the penetration, and they push more back. And the Mustangs have held Azel inside the 10-yard line on four downs. And here comes pressure. It's blocked by Cole Stevenson. The ball is loose. It's in the end zone. Mustangs may have it. And yes, they do. Cole Stevenson got his paws up there. He blocked it, and he recovers it. And the Mustangs are out in front, 13-0 now, with 3.08 to go in the second quarter. Third down and 15 with 7.48 remaining in the fourth. Here comes pressure from behind and sacked from behind. It was Jaden McClure who blindsided Gavin Coffey. He came screaming off that outside edge. McClure, a junior transfer out of Mansfield, Timberview with the sack. 27-yard attempt from the left hash. Good snap. The hold is down, and he boots it through. Well, he is one of the best in the state. That was a chip shot for French. Snap back, and he's going to throw it. Looking. Pressure coming. Heaves it over the middle. Brooks West sliding catch. Made it the one. First down yardage. It'll be first and goal. Bowman hooks up with Brooks West, and the Mustangs continue the drive. They're on the move. Fakes it to Clayton. Stevenson rumbles in from one yard out. Cole Stevenson, all 6'2", 230 pounds of him. Off the right side, he's in, and the Mustangs are on top. 6-0 with 8.41 to go in the first. Jordan Brooks-West on the kickoff return. He's got his seam to the 25, the 30. Look out, down the sideline, 40, across midfield. There's no flags, and he's going to go to the 10, the 5, and Brooks-West answers the call a touchdown as he takes it back 85 yards up the right side and it's 13-7 grapevine handoff Whitfield cuts right breaks a tackle still on his feet and then the ball's loose at the 16 Mustangs have it it was Patrick Bowman who fell on the football and grapevine forces their first turnover of the year the Mustangs have the ball at the 16 of Abilene Cooper Left side out of a no back set Bowman looks, quick pass in the flat to Vergara. He's going to throw it back to Bowman. He's got blockers at the 15, at the 10, and he's going to walk in. Touchdown, Mustangs. Alex Vergara finds Alan Bowman, and it's 20 to 7, Grapevine, with 2.49 to go in the first. The snap back. Bowman looks left, throws, corner of the end zone, looking for Clayton. Jump ball. Clayton comes down with it. Oh, what a play by David Clayton in man to man coverage over KJ Kelly. And Bowman hooks up with Clayton. The Mustangs are back on top, 27 to 21, with 1.37 to go in the second. Carson French here from the right hatch. This is a 25-yard attempt. He's two for two on the season, six of six in his career. Out of the snap of Stevenson, high snap. He got it down, and French punches it through. Boy, credit Cole Stevenson right there on a high snap to get that ball down. First and goal at the 8. Clock at 9.03 to go in the first. Handoff for Pierre. Inside moving. He gets into the end zone. He went off right tackle and cut inside. Pierre is in for the touchdown. It's his third of the season. And Grapevine strikes first. 6-0 with 8.59 to go in the first. Here's a 31-yard field goal attempt from the right hash off of the foot of Carson French. It's a high, booming end over end kick. And he nailed it. Here's Rashawn Pierre. Starts right, cuts back left. He's into the open. Look out to the 40. To the near sideline, 30, 20. Nobody's going to put a hand on him. Pierre into the end zone. One play, and the Mustangs score. They're now back to within one. It's 31 to 30. Bowman to throw. He has time over the middle. Pass caught by Brooks West at the five. He sprints away from a defender, and he's into the end zone. It's a touchdown. Bowman hooks up with Brooks West. Now 38 37. Again, the Mustangs an extra point away from tying it up. It's not going to be Carson French time. They're going to go jumbo package with Cole Stevenson, who's a nose tackle who comes in at the quarterback. Two running backs set right. David Clayton motions left to right. Here comes Stevenson, rumbles, and he powers his way all the way past the five to the four-yarder. They're going to mark him down at the five. What a call right there by Mike Alexander to put it in the hands of the big fella at Stevenson. 
who finds room off the right side. The snap to Bowman. Bowman's going to run it straight ahead, and Bowman gets in. That extra effort, he lunges out and gets into the end zone. Bowman is in. It's his first rushing touchdown of the year, and it puts Grapevine on top, 51-45 with 9.25 to go in the fourth. Back to punt. It's going to be a fake. And they bring Rose. He's tackled. Oh, Stevenson snipped it out. It was Cole Stevenson who snipped that one out off the right side and able to bring him down. They tried the fake punt. Cole Stevenson was having no part of it. Great by will have it. First down and 10. Here's Pierre. Starts right. Cuts back left. Looking for a block. He gets it from Keeling. In and out of a tackle. And he's into the end zone. He just put his hand on Keeling's back and found pay dirt. at six touchdowns tonight for Rashawn Pierre. The score, great by Mustang, 66, Marriage Coyotes. Seventh play of this drive. They have it at the 15 of Polly. Twin 26 to go. Snap to Bowman, escapes, rolls right, throws, looking, pass, caught, touchdown. Grapevine, a sliding grab. It's hauled in by David Clayton, and the Mustangs strike first, 6-0 with 10-17 to go in the first quarter. He has two receivers to each side. Ball in the near hash, inside handoff to Pereira, and nobody lays a finger on him as he bursts into the secondary across midfield to the 30, the 20, and he's going to go on his first carry. Rashawn Pereira takes it 63 yards to the house, and it's 13-0. Great by and here they come on a two-point conversion. They fake the extra point, and Cole Stevenson, the holder, Put that snap and then just charged off the left tackle into the end zone untouched. 15 nothing grapevine. They are rolling with 9.03 to go in the first. Second down and nine. Second down and goal from the nine. Bowman, handoff, stretch play. Prier running left to the five. Gets into the end zone. Goes Rashawn Prier. His second touchdown of the night. Touchdown, Mustang. And it was easy off the left side to get in behind Tony Campos and Justin Black as he turned the corner. And it's now 21-0 Grapevine with 3.35 to go in the first. And they put a man in motion. That's Frederick Bennett from left to right. Now it's two receivers left and two right. Low snap. Here comes Heat. Robinson escapes to his right. Heaves this one up for grabs. It's intercepted at the 23. Brought in by Jackson Shadle. Two receivers set to each side. Junior signal car steps up, throws, pass caught at the 10. By Vargas, slips a tackle down the sideline to the 5. Nudges towards the end zone, reaches out. He got in. Touchdown. Alex Vergara, his first touchdown of the season. What an effort. Claps his hands. Here comes a snap. Here comes pressure. Throws it, lobs it over the middle. Intercepted at the 40-yard line, all the way up to the 45. Carson Kirkup, the corner. Brought that one down. The second interception of the night for Grapevine. Play clock is at 7. Game clock at 4.15 and counting on the third and 9. Robinson to throw. Steps up. Throws to the outside. It's intercepted at the 30-yard line. It's Acosta, and he's got all sorts of green turf in front of him. Across midfield to the 40, to the 30. Slips a tackle. Gets a stiff arm at the 25 to the 20. Runs over a tackler at the 10-yard line. What a run by Robert Acosta. Two receivers splits to each side of the formation on a first to go at the nine. 3.55 to go until half. 36-0 grapevine. They show pressure on the outside with the outside linebackers walked up. Rhodes throws over the middle. Catch made by Clayton. What a grab over the middle. It's a touchdown. David Clayton made that catch in traffic as Rhodes zipped it in. It's now 42-0 grapevine with 3.40 to go until half. 145 remaining in the fourth. And a bit of a hurry up offense here by Rhodes. Tejada set to the right. Two receivers to each side. The snap back. Tejada has it. He walks in. Went left, cut back right. There was a gaping hole off right tackle. He's into the end zone. 69 nothing. Grapevine. 128 to go in the fourth. Third down and three. Two receivers split to each side. They put Clayton in motion left to right. Little bubble screen to Clayton. To the near side of the 35-40. Look out to the clear. Across midfield, and there goes Clayton. To the 30, it's a foot race to the 20, and Clayton's going to win it. 10-5 touchdown, Mustangs. Great bind empties the backfield now. Bowman in the gun. Three receivers left and two right. Here comes pressure. Bowman escapes, rolls to his left, throws over the middle. Pass is caught in the end zone. Back of the end zone by Jordan Brooks-West. Mustangs are on top, 13 to nothing. Two touchdowns through the year. This time, Bowman strikes and finds Brooks West for six. Here comes the hurry-up offense now. Bowman claps his hands, gets the line set, 
Two receivers to each side, back to the ground. Pierre starts right, cuts back up, field to the left. Spins out of a tackle to 10. Another tackle at the 5. Into the end zone for a touchdown goes Rashawn Pierre. He spun out of two tackles. It's into the end zone. It is Pierre's 11th rushing touchdown of the year, and it's 19-0 Grapevine with 7.52 to go until the half. This will be a 34-yard attempt from the near hash, but into a strong breeze. Good snap. Hold is down. Carson French's kick, a high, booming end over end kick, and it splits the uprights. Ball is at the 21-yard line on the near hash of Dunbar. Grapevine's Bowman steps up, throws over the middle, wide open. Brooks West touchdown. Second down, 13. Mustangs moving left to right. Prier, the running back, set right of uh, Bowman. Four receivers set, high snap. Bowman pulls it down, going deep for Brooks West, near sideline. Pass called at the five into the end zone. Touchdown, Mustangs. Third touchdown reception of the day for Jordan Brooks West. Two receivers split to each side. Those receivers are stacked behind one another to the right side. Bowman to the ear to Brooks West. Touchdown. It's his fourth of the day on a quick slant pattern. Jordan Brooks West has four touchdown receptions today and the fifth touchdown pass of the afternoon for Allen Bowman. It's 43 to 6. Great by with 2.33 to go in the third. At uh, trips to the short side of the formation on a second and 15. Dahada, the running back left. Snap to Rhodes. Looks to throw. Looking, looking. He was one deep. Got a man wide open. Pass caught at the 15. And Vergara easily goes in. Hand off to Hada. Straight ahead. Big hole. 15. Across the 20 into the secondary. Breaks a the tackle. There he goes. Across the 30. Tejada's going to win this foot race. To the 40, 30, 20, to the 10, 5. Touchdown. Seth Tejada goes 93 yards to the house. How about that? It's 57-6. Great by with 9.44 to go in this one. Sean Prier is now in the game. Movement up front again on Dunbar. Free play over the middle. Pass caught by Ertz at the 25. Gets outside. 20, 15, 10. And Ertz is going to go in. Touchdown Mustangs. Jack Ertz from Cade Rhodes. Had a 40-yard touchdown strike. And that makes it now 64-14. to Great by with 6.16 to go in the fourth. First and ten from the left hash, trips to the wide side. Bowman back to throw, all time, over the middle, and it's complete for a touchdown. To David Clayton on a post route, he caught it about the two and walks in. Slot right and two receivers to the left. To the ground, they go on a zone read, and he is stoned right there with the line of scrimmage. There was nowhere to go. That led by Cole Stevenson at the nose tackle position. A loss of one on the play, second and 11 now. Bowman to throw, slings it over the middle, pass caught at the 10, ahead of the 5, Brooks West gets into the end zone, he took a shot, but he's in 4-6, and the Mustangs extend their lead to 13-0 with 7-15 to go in the first quarter. And here we go on a first and 10 from the 25, back to the ground, trying to get outside and nowhere to go, stacked up from behind and chased down, Roland Mitchell was the running back there, uh, off right tackle, and uh, Jaden McClure there, Luis Reyes, Tracking him from behind, also Braden Hudson there. Just a slew of gray jerseys on the tackle. Loss of one. Rodriguez to throw. Little screen pass near side at the 20. Campbell Hugh had the ball popped loose. Ball is at, on the sideline at about the 12-yard line. Grapevine has that ball stayed in bounds. Grapevine signaling they have it, and they do. Bowman to throw. Looks left. Nobody there. Rolls to his right. Buys time. Slings it. Pass. Caught. Touchdown. Brooks West again. His third touchdown reception of this first quarter. 27-0 grapevine. All Mustangs with 4-0-1 to go in the first quarter. Cade Rhodes to throw. They're going to set up a screen. Here comes pressure. They get it off to Prier. Makes the catch at the 45-50. Into the clear. To the 40. Cuts back against the grade. 35-30. He's going to go. 20, 15, 10, 5. Prier into the end zone. Hand off. Nowhere to go. Stoned immediately. Loss of two on the play. That time the handoff was to Roland Mitchell. Trying that right side and just nothing doing at all. Yeah, Cole Stevenson blew it up and I believe he was the first man on the ball carrier too. On a first and ten. Rhodes throws deep over the middle into traffic. Passes caught at the five and carrying tacklers into the end zone for a touchdown. Into the end zone, that is Adam Burditch who made that catch and then carried a couple of tacklers into the end zone. It's 41-0 on that strike from Rhodes to Burditch. 
Trips to the right, one receiver left. 42 nothing great by 9.15 to go until halftime. Pass is intercepted by Robert Acosta. Chance he's going to take this one in to the 20, 15. Cuts back at the 10, to the 5. Taken down at the 1-yard line is where they mark him down. Play clock is down to 6. Snap to Rhodes, handoff to Hada. Started right, cut back left of the end zone. Touchdown Mustangs, 48 to nothing. 155 remaining in the second quarter. 49 nothing great by. Snap to Rhodes. Looks to his left. Wants to throw over the middle. Pass caught in the end zone. That is Jack Ertz for a touchdown. I say not Jack Ertz. That was not Jack Ertz. That was Max Bigler. Senior wideout who hauled that one in. Here's Bowman on a second down. Throws it. Left side. Open. Caught. Touchdown. In the corner of the end zone. That is Jack Ertz. That's a beautiful catch. A diving catch made in the corner of the end zone. Bowman hooks up with Jack Ertz for six. Make it 61 to nothing. Grapevine with 448 remaining. A fourth and nine, they have to get to the Richland 22. Play clock's at two, they get it off. Bowman to throw. Has time, lobs it over the middle, double coverage. Clayton's there, makes the catch. Oh, what a play! Clayton in double coverage, comes down with it. Touchdown, Grapevine. 6-0 on the touchdown strike. Bowman to David Clayton. Now here comes Carson French from the right hash. 24-yard attempt into a 15-mile-per-hour win, and he nails it right through the uprights. Carson French is 6-for-6 six six on the year as the Mustangs go up 10-6 with 39 seconds to go in the first quarter. The snap to Trent. Here comes pressure. They set up a screen play to, to Riley Johnson. He's tackled to the 39. That is Jackson Shadle who is there. A short gain of two on the play as Shadel had sniffed it out. He's six of six on the season. His long is of 35. Cole Stevenson, the holder, will put his knee down at the 32, so we'll call it a 42-yard kick from just inside the right hash. Good snap. The hold is down. Pressure off the right side. He's got plenty of distance. End over end kick, and it splits the uprights. Yes, sir. 20 to 6. On that 42-yard field goal by Carson French. Six seconds left on the clock here in the first half. Second and nine. Opening drive of the second half. 20 to six. Grapevine. Here's a pass. Tipped to the line of scrimmage. Picked off. It's picked off by Grapevine. Braden Hudson has it. He's running free to the 40, to the 30. Gets a block to the 22. Oh, my. Braden Hudson got his paws on it. Comes down with it. And the Mustangs stop that drive, and they get their second turnover of the night. They got Clayton stacked in behind Vergara. Pierre, the running back, side cart left to Bowman on a second and ten. Here comes pressure. Bowman over the middle. Wide open is Brooks West. Touchdown, Mustangs. Oh, on a post route. It is Allen Bowman to Jordan Brooks West, and it's 26-6 to great line with 10-31 to go on the third. And so this a 39-yard attempt. This is from the left hash. It is a previous one of 42 from inside the right hash. Cole Stevenson holds, good snap. Hold is down, the kick is up. Uh, end over end, and it just slips over the upright. Here's a third down and 10. Pass, tipped up and nearly intercepted. It was tipped. Oh, it was Braden Hudson right there, maybe Cameron Hamway, one of the two. And Zachary Lasher nearly came down with an interception at the 45. Uh, but boy, that linebacking core has been awfully active, but now it's a three and out. That's a huge three and out. Great bound we get the football. Barks out the signals. Here's the snap. The handoff to Prier. Cuts right and into the end zone goes Rashad Prier. That's a touchdown for Grapevine, and it's 36 to 18 with 6.13 remaining in the fourth. The clock hits zero. This one belongs to the Great Vine Mustangs tonight. Here we go on a second down and nine. Inside give. Prier, he's into the open. Across the 45, the 40. It's going to be a foot race, and Prier's going to win it to the 10, the 5, and Prier takes it to the house. There are no flags, and Great Vine is on top just like that. Six to nothing with 10.30 to go in the first quarter. For Rashawn Prier, he now eclipses 1,000 yards on the season. That's his 13th rushing touchdown. Extra point. French's kick is true. Through the uprights, and it's 7-0. Grapevine leads just a minute and a half into this one. Heritage has it, moving left to right. Play action. LaRoe wants to throw. Steps up. Here comes Stevenson. Saxon back at the 42. There was nowhere to go. Terrific coverage in that secondary, and Cole Stevenson brought him down back at the 42. Second and nine. They need to get to the Heritage four-yard line. 
The snap to Bowman. Here comes all sorts of heat. They pick it up. Throws corner of the end zone. Leaping catch. David Clayton. Did he come down with it? Yes, he did. Oh, what a play. Bowman hooks up with David Clayton. And the Mustangs strike. It's now 14-13. Heritage with 4.52 to go until the half. Handoff. Murphy finding a hold as he went right outside. Ball's loose at the 40-yard line. Grapevine says they have it. The line just comes racing in. Still no indication now. Yes, they do. Grapevine has the football. That ball jarred loose, and the Mustangs have it on a huge break at the 40-yard line. And slow to get up is Caleb Murphy as he was the one that took the shot. Mustangs have the ball at the 40-yard line of Heritage here with 11.39 to go in the third. 10.31 to go in the third quarter. Bubble screen pass out to Clayton at the 15 to 10. Looking for a crease inside to the 5. Cuts inside. Into the end zone goes David Clayton. It's his second touchdown of the night. And now it's 28-21. And here come the Mustangs on the comeback trail. Extra point now from Carson French to make this a 7-point deficit. Good snap. Stevenson puts the hole down and... Carson French boots it through. 28 to 21. Second and seven. 10.43 remaining in the fourth. Bowman throws. Play action. Wide open. There's Ertz at the 10. The five. Ertz is in. Touchdown Mustangs with 10.36 to go in the fourth. Don't count them out yet. Mustangs are down 41-27. Now an extra point will make this a 13-point deficit. Cole Stevenson to hold for Carson French. Good snap and hold and French's kick is true. Snap and handoff goes to Breer. Bounces outside, now cuts back in across the five near the goal line, and he got in. Second down and goal at the nine. Bowman to throw again. Here comes pressure, throws, pass caught by Vergara, and he walks into the end zone. Third and three on the zone read. Nowhere to go, immediately hit the backfield. It's going to be a significant loss of about five. Ball was stripped away. The first man there defensively, that was Colby Williams, a junior who's been banged up this year. That's a great sign to see Williams in on the stop. A loss of five and a fourth and six coming up. This will be a 27-yard attempt from the right hash. Good snap, and French's kick is high. End over in it, good. 17-6, great mind. They're going to go for two. 4.30 4.30 to go in the first quarter. Hobbs is the tight end set the to the right. Got a running back right and a shotgun. Two receivers left. Maxwell throws. Slant pattern over the middle. Ooh. Pass incompleted. Boy, that ball was jarred loose. What a hit over wow. the middle as uh, the retentive receiver was Jeremiah Garner, and he was stuck. That jarred the ball loose, and it's incomplete. Hudson delivered the pop. Braden Hudson, the inside linebacker, just tattooed to the attended receiver over the middle. And that is an incomplete two-point conversion. Five seconds to go in the first, maybe the last play of the quarter. They're going to throw it. Pass caught by Ertz at the 15. Going to the 10, to the 5. Ertz is in for a touchdown. touchdown Bowman looking, escapes, rolls to his right. Pass Ooh. caught. Oh, Ertz made that catch. Oh, they're going to mark him out at the one-yard line. What a grab by Jack Ertz, who came diving back for that one. They walk the outside linebackers up. Hobbs is on the right side. Here comes Bowman. They're going to option Hobbs. Bowman fakes out. Hobbs gets into the end zone for a touchdown. Hobbs is running a streak down the middle. Maxwell is uh, snowed under. Somehow spins and gets out. Oh, was he ever hit at the 50-yard line. Hello, Braden Hudson. Hudson, after Maxwell spun out of that, put the screws to Maxwell's helmet. And it's a gain of one, but boy, he'll feel that one tomorrow. Second and three. The snap to Bowman from the shotgun. Looking, looking. Here comes pressure. Finds Prier out of the backfield. 40, 35, far sideline. Slips a tackle to 30. Boy, there was a big block. They came back at the 35-yard line. That's a big run by Freer. Boy, Ertz is doing it all tonight. That grapevine has not had that turn. They've not had a turnover. They did not have one last week. They've not forced one tonight. This would be a big spot right here if they could get one. First down at goal at the five. Two tight end set. Throws over the middle. Pass tipped away. Well, there nearly was right there. Cameron Hamway stepped in front of Byron Hobbs, and he nearly had it. Second and goal at the five. Grapevine 31. Eastern Second Hills 18, 10, 33 remaining in the fourth. Maxwell in the shotgun. Tight ends to each side. Receivers split wide to each side. Maxwell the running back left. Here's a high snap pulled down all the way back at the 13-yard line. And there's a miscue right there. Pass deflected. So back at the 13-yard line, pass deflected, back in the hands of Maxwell. So here we go on a third down and go at the 13. Well, here's the play of the game up to this point. 
fourth on a goal inside the one with 9.15 remaining. Offensive unit for the Highlanders looks to the sideline to Tracy Simmons. They're going to have a tight end and Hobbs to the right. And a tight end and levels left. Receivers to each side on a fourth and goal inside the one. Marshall's the running back to the left of Maxwell. Play clocks at eight. The snap to Maxwell. Inside give. Marshall stood up at the goal line. Second effort. He can't get in. There's no signal. They say he didn't get in. He did not make it. Great bind holds. What a job by the defensive line and the second surge of those inside linebackers. And great bind holds on a fourth down and goal inside the one. 31 to 18. Mustangs will punt it. Bowman rolls right. This is a good kick inside the 20, inside the 15, the 10. Bouncing inside the 5. This is going to get to the 2. What a kick by Allen Bowman. This is going to pin the Highlanders back to their own 2 with 3.55 to go in the 4th. Great Vine leading 31 to 18. Okay, here we go. Play clock's at 17. Handoff stuffed in the backfield and back in the end zone. That's a safety. First man there was Braden Hudson. As uh, the running back and Derek Marshall was hit touchdown, immediately. Mustangs. Are they going to say it's a fumble and it's a touchdown? Cole, Cole Stevenson came out of there with it. That ball was jarred loose then immediately, and Stevenson was on the bottom of the pile. And the Mustangs scored to make it 37 18. That may be all she wrote. Zach Evans on the carry. And here comes Bowman. Curtain call. Bowman comes out at the clock's at the 27 second mark. 23, get play clock's at 32. Bowman will come out and they may just, one last time, may allow him to take a snap, a knee or call a timeout and at least allow him to come off the field. He's going to take a snap and a knee. Nine seconds to go, eight seconds. Bowman, snap, takes a knee. That should do it, down to two, down to one. Bowman gets to take that final snap in his final home game. That's a great call by Mike Alexander to get his senior quarterback onto the field. What a career. It's not over yet for Allen Bowman. But a four-year starter at quarterback, district MVP last year. He's eclipsed the 10,000-yard mark tonight in his career. He's thrown for over 100 touchdown passes. Second down and seven. There's the pass out into the flat. Charging upfield at the 10, 5, and touchdown, great bond. Nifty moves and a lot of speed. Who else but David Clayton on a quick hitch to the outside. And the Mustangs have their first touchdown of the ball game. Mustangs have it again. First down and 10 at the 15. Looking to pass right side, and this is in the bread basket. At the 40, the 30, 25, 20, 10, 5, touchdown, great bond. 85 yards to the house, and the Mustangs take the lead. Bottom shotgun set, second down and 10 now for Birdville. Earl drops back, looks, fires, and this is in and out of the hands of the intended receiver. Good coverage as he was looking out for Corey Grady, tight end. In on the coverage was Braden Hudson. Ladarius mixes on the left hip of Earl. Dropping back, surveying, and tries to take off up the middle, but nothing doing. This is a huge loss, and a great tackle flying in to make the play is Nick Glover. Two receivers to the left, two to the right, and this is another handoff up the middle, trying to get over the pile and into the end zone. No signal yet. I think he did. Touchdown, great find. They needed two yards. They got two with Pierre, and he will pick up his 15th rushing touchdown of the season. So third down and 18 now for Grapevine. Ball at the 47. Pass right side. This is caught. Clayton, here he goes. 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown Mustangs. Third down and 8 on the Hawks 27. Earl drops back, eludes pressure, steps up, still looking for a receiver, and he is swallowed up. Big time pressure. And it's Cole Stevenson getting involved now. Second down and 10, fake handoff, looking for a receiver. Over the middle of the field, the slant is complete to Clayton. Into the end zone and touchdown, Grapevine. Gain of two, third down and six now for Birdville. Fake the handoff and heavy pressure and brought down. Nice gang tackle. Getting up from the pile, Luis Reyes might have been the first man there. Third down and four. 
Ball at the Hawk eight yard line. Escaping pressure, throwing out left side, and this is a tough play, tough catch, and it's caught. Vergara in the end zone hauls it in, a diving play, touchdown Mustangs. Stamp an exclamation point on this game. What a throw, what a catch. Grapevine showing pressure, Braden Hudson walks up, here he comes. Roberson throws, passes too high at the 16-yard line. And Braden Hudson, nobody blocked him. The inside linebacker came scot-free. Roberson passes high. He was looking to the near sideline to Connor Washington. It's incomplete and now a fourth and 15. Mustangs have to get four. On a fourth and four from the YMLA 37. They split two receivers to either side. Ball just inside the left hash. Prier's the running back left to Bowman. Here's the snap. Pressure coming. Bowman steps up. Fires. Pass caught by Vergara. A diving catch made coming back to it at the 28. That's been his go-to guy here on this drive. Vergara's third catch of the drive. Allen Bowman sends three receivers left and one in Brooks West to the right. Prier's the running back left. Handoff. Prier's got a big hole at the 10. Five. He goes in. Nobody laid a finger on Rashawn Prier, and it is his 16th rushing touchdown this season, and we're tied at six with 3.32 to go in the first. In the second and 10, he steps up, looking to throw. Stevenson gets pressure, now rolls right, steps right back into the teeth of those blue jerseys. It's snow him under back at the 18-yard line. First time tonight they get to Roberson. That was Luis Reyes, who I believe will get credit for the sack. Ball for the far hash, got two receivers. Split to the short side, two wide left. Bowman throws, pass, caught by Ertz at the 25. Got a blocker in front, the 20. Slip to tackle, the 15, 10, 5. And Ertz is into the end zone for a touchdown. Third and three, 6.37 to go in the first half. 14-6 Mustangs, ball in the near hash. From the 30, they got a four-down lineman look. Here comes all sorts of heat. Bowman throws, pass caught at the 30. It's Clayton, a little short uh, slant pattern. There goes Clayton down the sideline, 50, 40. Nobody's going to catch Clayton. David Clayton past the 20, the 10, the 5, Touchdown. to the house. Touchdown. 70 yards, Allen Bowman to David Clayton. Wildcats have it back at their own 23. The ball is on the near hash. They've got to hurry. The play clock's inside 5. Trips to the short side. It's at 2. It's at 1. It's at 0. They said they got it off. Roberson uncorks once. Deep to the left side. Picked off at the 48. A leaping catch on the sideline by Cameron Hamway. How about that? Hamway pulls it down at the 48, and the Mustangs force their first turnover of the night. Roberson's going to throw. Scrambles to his right, dumps it off to his running back in Burnett. Now he's backtracking, back to the 20, back to the 15. That's a huge loss. Taken down by Colby Williams, the defensive end. That is a massive loss all the way back. They're going to give him a favorable spot to the 19. That's where they're going to say forward progress occurred. It's Roberson, the quarterback. Stands back inside his own five. Grapevine showing heat. Here it comes. The snap to Roberson. Steps up. Bottled up. Nowhere to go. He's lucky he stays out of the end zone. Tackle back of the one. Braden Hudson there. The inside linebacker. And it'll be also look to be maybe Blake Mazarang as well. Those two inside backers that stopped him. Fourth and 41. Fourth and one. They got man coverage defensively in the secondary. Two receivers to each side. They put a man in motion in Clayton. Fake it to him, hand off Prier. He's got room off the five, into the end zone, off left That's tackle down. goes Rashawn Prier. How about that call? Fake the jet sweep, go to Prier. He's in for six, and it's 27-6 grapevine with 6.27 to go in the third. Running back right in Burnett, hand off Burnett. They're trying to get in behind Sanders, taken down from behind. Two grapevine Mustangs there. The first guy, there's a loss of three. That was Colby Williams. He's having himself a ball game tonight. Williams along with Jaden McClure. And it's a fourth and five Ball's coming up. Out. First down, 10 from the 31 of YMLA. They're bringing inside pressure. Hand off Prier. He's into the, into the open. Across the 25, 20. Nobody's going to lay a hand on him. 10-5 touchdown. touchdown. Prier's into the end zone. That just opened up. They brought Ball's the inside Prier, pressure. And once Prier got the middle, past the linebackers to the second level, he was gone. 34-6 great find with 328 to go. Well, here comes that quick pace. High snap. Gives it to Prier. Jukes his way into the end zone for a touchdown. That's four touchdowns tonight for Prier. It's on a first and ten. Here's Bowman. Going to throw it. Looking deep. Over the middle. There's Brooks West. Wide open at the 38. Foot race to the 30. 25 running away from defenders. 15, 10, 5 into the end zone. Touchdown. No Great flags. Time. We had said earlier that they had not hooked up with Brooks West. Well, now they have. It's 48 to 6 with 844 to go on the fourth. Trips wide to the right. Snap over the head of Roberson. Ball's loose back at the 12. Grapevine may have. I think they do. 
A lot of blue jerseys down there, and they do. They've got it. Mustangs have it. That is Braden Hudson, who's been all over the field tonight. Inside linebacker came up with it, and the Mustangs have the football at the YMLA 12. Fourth straight playoff appearance for Grapevine. It'll be the second straight year they've won this by district title. Now here's Alito with a third and three. Leading 7-0 over Grapevine with 6.43 to go in the first quarter. Critical stop needed here for the Mustangs. Two back set. Here's Bishop. Sprints out to his right. Throw. It's high. It's incomplete. His intended target to the top side was Money Parks, who stands 5'11", but he overshot him. Robert Acosta was on the coverage. Bishop sets to throw. Looks. Sells it high. Nearly intercepted at the 32. It was into double coverage. Cameron Hamway, Robert Acosta were there. And that ball popped up in Cameron Hamway. If he had another step, he's got it. It's incomplete. Mustang defense holds. The snap, Bowman throws. Pass caught by Ertz at the 40 near sideline. Slipped the tackle at the 42. Into the secondary. Across midfield. Stiff arm at the 40. 35, 30. Still on his feet at the 25. Crumbles all the way down inside the 20 to the 19. Biggest play of the day for the Mustangs. Damage has been done through the air here on this drive. The big strike to Jack Ertz has got the Mustangs all the way deep into Alito territory at the 8. Bowman of the shotgun. They're bringing all sorts of heat. Throws over the middle. Pass. Caught in the end zone. That is David Clayton who made the catch. Bowman just dumps it over the middle. As Alito sold out on the blitz. That is the 35th touchdown of the year by Alan Bowman. Bishop sprints out. Rolls right. Throws. Pass. Intercepted at the 26. It is pulled down by Cameron Hamway. How about that? At the 32, Hamway goes out of bounds. Trips right. Regards the lone receiver to the short side. The ball is on the left hash. 6.57 to go in the third quarter. Grapevine down 21, but on the move. Quick pass caught by Vergara. Quick to tackle the 20. He's going to go. 15, 10, 5, and Vergara is into the end zone. There are no flags, and the Mustangs are on the comeback trail. First down and 10. Bowman throws. Leaping catch made by Brooks West. At the 40, 45, 50. There goes Brooks West. 40, 30. Nobody's going to catch him. 10, 5, touchdown. There's the deep strike, Alan Bowman, to Jordan Brooks West, and Grapevine's not going away. 38 yards from the right hash and into a strong win. French as long as 35. This would eclipse that, but his leg is a guy that can kick well upwards of 45 yards up to 50 you would feel good about. But he does have to deal with the win, and this is a bit of an angle. Cole Stevenson to hold. There's movement up front. Good snap, good hold. French high, driving in over in pick. It's through. Carson French got it. Boy, is he ever a weapon. First down and 10 from the 40. Bowman looking deep. This will be the final play. Going deep. Final pass of his career. Leaping. Oh, what a play. That's David Clayton who came down with a touchdown reception. And while Grapevine will end up on the losing end today, what an incredible way for Alan Bowman to finish his career. Go Mustangs. Highlights brought to you by Kim Asai, your real estate broker.